Hello, good evening guys. Welcome to learn-automation.com. Today we'll talk about uh, Auto IT and we will be covering so many scenarios using Auto IT. So before starting, let's talk about high level agenda. So today we'll see how to download Auto IT and uh, we'll see how to install Auto IT. Then we'll see uh, what are the help sections available that will help you to write the scripts. Then we'll see how to open this script editor and how to write a script as well. And finally, we'll talk about how to upload file in Auto IT. Sorry, how to upload file in Selenium using Auto IT. So let's navigate. So you can open their official website. Download Auto IT. Now if you talk about auto IT, it's a separate automation tool for windows based applications. So what we actually we are doing now, we are trying to combine Selenium with auto IT. Okay, so you will get two options now. So on top you are getting auto IT and you are getting auto IT editor. So you require editor to write a script. So first you need to go to auto IT section and click on downloads. Here you will get download auto IT and editor both. So you can click on this. It will ask you to save file. So I already saved for you, so I will directly show you. Now you can download editor direct from here, but as a safer side, just go to Auto IT editor, go to download, and download this Auto IT 3 exe. Again, it is asking for saving this file, so I will cancel this. So I will show you. Once you download, you will get two setup. One is Auto IT version 3 setup, and second is SCIT Auto IT 3. So let's install this. Simply double click on this. Click on yes. It will take some time to download. Click on next, click on agree. Next, run the script, okay. Click on next. Now you can see, if you check this, they will give you some default examples as well that you can refer. As of now, I will not do anything. I will simply click on next. By default, it's going to this directory. So you can edit based on your requirement, but it doesn't make any sense to change as of now. So I will simply click on next. So it's getting installed. In the meanwhile, you can run the second exe file. Click on next, click on I agree. So both are running in parallel. Yeah, finish. And let's wait for this. It's still, still taking some time, so not an issue. In the meanwhile, what I will do, I will create a file uploader for you. So I will right click and I will open a notepad for you and in this notepad we will create a file uploader. So if you know HTML it's fine if you don't know. So just type input type equal to file comma and I will assign one ID for this. So I will say ID equal to say one and if you want to give some name as well say name equal to and say resume upload. So this I, assign, I have assigned two attributes ID and name for this and if I simply save this file and if I open save as I will save this file as uh, file upload dot html make sure guys you are using this html inside this double quotes otherwise it will simply create a txt file for you so just <clears throat> surround this with double quotes click on save so if you go on desktop you will get this file upload so I will open this in browser so if I open with uh, Firefox okay uh, so it's coming so if you click on this it will ask you to upload some files so we'll see how to upload files so just check this yes it's installed now so if you talk about auto IT download installation is completed so if you just go here first two section has been completed now third is check the help section so if you know <coughs> navigate back once you install auto IT you will get this help section so in this you can go to index and we will be using three methods so I will show you one is control focus this method we will use so you can see they have so many methods for you so you can go and check the uh, history and the definition and what exactly they are doing as of now I will simply focus on control focus so this is the description you can see it will ask you uh, three things one is the title and text and the control ID so we will use title plus control ID second method which I will be using control set text 
yes this is double click on this so it will ask you um, title same control id and the text which you want to set so in this case we'll give the path of the file which you want to upload and finally we'll click so control click so if you see this it will ask you title control id that's more than enough for us so we will be using three methods so how to write this script let's start auto it editor so if you remember by default it was going to c drive program files and uh, auto it3 so you can check here you will get one uh, this help section already open so i will click on this au3 info so this is the identifier tool so in selenium if you know we use this firebug and firepath right in the same way in auto it you have this finder tool to identify the elements apart from that if you go to script and yes open this is the actual editor for you so you double click on this so now everything is ready this is my editor this is my finder tool and uh, this is my application so let's get started what I will do, I will click on this browse button. So this I will do using Selenium. Now this file uploader window, this Selenium cannot handle because it's not your browser uh, activity, it's a Windows activity. So actually I need to set a file name here. So I will drag this finder tool to this particular file name. So you can see I'm getting one title here. I'm getting class name, I'm getting class plus instance. So let's use the first method type control focus so you can see this method is coming it's a very good feature as eclipse suggests you some of the methods right in the same way auto it also suggesting you so double click on this now it will ask you three things title okay so we'll give the title so this is the title file upload copy and paste second is the text so text not required as of now third one is the control id now if you talk about control id Control ID is the combination of class plus instance. So in our case, it will be edit one. E capital, make sure it is, uh, you are giving exact in, uh, as it is displaying in the auto IT finder tool. So this is our first setup is done. We have given the focus to this particular window. Sorry, this particular element. Now I need to type the path as well, right? So in that case, I will use the second one called control set text control set text here yeah. again you need to specify some of the attribute so title will be same okay so not an issue you can directly copy from here and you can specify here oops comma text not required control id so control id again it will be edit one because we are giving uh, we are setting the file name in the same location so it will be edit one e capital now last is the most important the text which you want to set in our case we want to set the path right so i will go to my desktop and i will try to upload this file itself so i will go to this property i will specify this path copy and uh, i will specify so this is a path and uh, my file name is file upload so copy paste sorry desktop yes and you need to specify the extension as well so the extension is dot html yes guys you're almost done now focus is done set text and now we need to click right so for this you can say control click this is already available so again it will ask you three things so first one is the title so you can directly copy from our commands second is the text you can put it blank not required control id yes so this is the important one so how to get the control id again i will use this finder tool i will drag and drop to this open so you can see i'm getting class plus instance right so i will use this so my <coughs> id will be button one because it's a combination of class plus instance so i will type the button b capital B U double T O N one. That's all. Okay. So this is your auto IT script is ready. Now how to run this script? It's very easy. Simply go to this file section, 
first save this file so I will go to desktop I will create a new folder and I will say auto IT and I will give this script name is file upload click on save so this script is saved now so if you go to desktop uh, auto IT folder has been created if I open this auto IT yeah this is the script IT so you cannot execute this uh, auto IT script directly because if you go to this property extension is dot au3 so you need to compile this script first so now you have two options compile scripts 64 86 so if you have windows 32 machine just go with x86 but if you have 64 machine just go with compile script x64 since i have 64 bit machine i will use this 64 option i will get this application this is the exe file actually so if i double click this it will execute my auto it script so let me show you this the, this is my application and if i double uh, if i click on this browse and this is my script if i double click on this so you can see it's quickly uh, uploading the file here let me show you one more time it's running very fast we should have uh, set some weight also but it's fine if you double click this it's uploading the same file so 90% task is done now simply you need to open this file using selenium uh, sorry this file you need to open and you have to click on this browse button and we need to call this auto it script from our selenium port so let's do it i will open my clips sorry guys for the background noise so it is asking me workspace so i will use this use this as default do not ask again so this is the file path so let me copy in advance okay so the, this is our eclipse um, yesterday i created one dummy code for jenkins so i will use the same i will remove this yeah this will be same this will be same so here i will specify the url so this is the local file which i created in your case if you have application just specify the your specify your main application now after opening this uh, let me maximize as well so i will use driver dot manage my clips is quite slow today so it's taking time yes manage dot windows dot maximize and yes now almost done now we need to click on that button right first so what i will do i will open this fire bug and i will inspect this element so you can see i have this id one name one sorry name resume upload because i already created this so i will use this name attribute in case if you don't have any attribute just go with the xpath because it create xpath for you so let me copy the xpath it will be very easy for you so now say driver dot find element by xpath specify the xpath control v and dot click so it will click on that browse button now you need to run your auto it script so selenium gives very easy way to run this not exactly selenium it's a feature of java that you can execute exe file from your java program so we have one class called runtime and we have one method called get runtime it's a static method so you can see using dot operator i can call this and i have a method called exe execute so in this execute command whatever exe file or bad file you will give it will simply execute so let me take the path of this so this is the path i will use this make sure you, you are giving path of exe file not au3 file control c specify here and yes in java you have to give either one forward or two backward today i will use two backward slash yeah. and you can see i'm still getting one exception so if you put mouse over on this it is throwing one checked exception called io exception so you can directly use throws or catch try catch okay. so i will not use this quit otherwise you will not get the exact behavior so let's run this code it's very easy i will repeat again once this program will run successfully so we are opening firefox we are maximizing we are opening the default file which we created i clicked on submit button then i am executing this 
auto it script which we created so let's run this run as test ng test so you can see it's running okay so it's running and <coughs> generally it runs from the uh, using test ng so it's taking one default xml file and it's clicking and bingo yeah you can see it's clicking very fast and it's uploading as well so if you want to check the exact behavior let's put some wait after click and you can see it's giving pass but let me give some wait so you can analyze what exactly happened so i will use thread dot sleep and i will give five seconds so as we know thread dot sleep will take in milliseconds so if you give five thousand it means a five second so let's do it once again and I will close the unnecessary browser because it slowed down my system performance. So run as test ng test. So you can use this auto IT tool. Oh yeah, it's opening. Yeah, it's specifying the path as well, it's running. After this, you can continue with your regular Selenium script because it's not going to interfere with us. So that's all guys. This is how you can use AutoYT to upload your files. So now let's see the agenda. Yes, we have covered all these things. So we have seen almost everything like downloading, installation, help section, editor, and finally upload file. So guys, just stay tuned for the next tutorial because in the next tutorial, we'll see how to uh, handle the authentication using AutoYT. It's just a record and play tool, but still I will cover in the next tutorial. So stay tuned. Please share this video with others. If you like this video, you can subscribe my channel. In case if you have any other doubts, you can visit my blog as well. My blog is learn-automation.com. That's all I have for today. See you in the next video. Bye-bye. Have a nice day.